The final regular season games in the NBA played out last night and the matchups for the postseason are finally official. And wow, this Western Conference has got to be one of the most exciting brackets I've seen in years. We have the champs from last season, the San Antonio Spurs in sixth position in the standings here. That should tell you how exciting this Western Conference is. Now the Spurs will see Blake Griffin and the LA Clippers for round one of the playoffs. And here with me now to talk over the best picks on game one, tipping off this weekend is expert NBA odds analyst, Joe Gavassi. Joe, thanks so much for being back with us. My pleasure, Megan. This is the most exciting time in the NBA season when the playoffs come in late April all the way through the middle of June. And we have had tremendous success over this period of time over the course of the years and look forward to doing so again for you, the viewers, on the SBR videos. All right, Joe, let's rock this thing then and talk about the Clippers team first. Holy cow, that's all I can say. They were barely scraping the bottom of the playoffs contention a little, a little over a month ago, but then they turned it up like 10 notches. They won 13 of their last 14 matchups. What do you think we can expect from this Clippers team overall in the series against the Spurs? Clippers have a lot to prove, and they began proving it, as you pointed out, over a month ago. In fact, they entered the playoffs on a seven-game winning streak, the best winning streak of any team coming into the playoffs and they have a lot to prove based on last year. Not all their fault. Remember last spring with their owner, Donald Sterling, revealing the affair and later the racist remarks certainly negatively influenced the Clippers. Although they were at, managed to get around one victory, fell to Oklahoma City in round two. They will certainly be focused to make amends for those playoffs. They have a veteran coach in Doc Rivers, and of course, the inside-outside tandem of point guard Paul, inside force Blake Griffin, an emerging force at center in shot-blocking, rebounding DeAndre Jordan, and arguably the best sixth man in the game, Crawford. They could well give the defending champs a tremendous amount of trouble in this series, perhaps even winning it, considering they now have the home court advantage. All right, now, Joe, let's talk about those defending champs, the San Antonio Spurs. It's no surprise we're going to finally see them in full motion, as we've seen them in the past few weeks here now that the playoffs are starting. Coach Pop kept them nice and rested. They have veterans galore on their squad with Duncan leading the way. I don't care what people say about their loss to the Pelicans last night. The Spurs team will be ready, and I kind of want to back them in this game, Joe, but what do you think? Do you think they could be the ones taking the win in game one of the series? Well, you know, Megan, a real head scratcher to this bureau. Uh, San Antonio Spurs entered that game 82 with New Orleans on runs of 21 and three straight up, 19 and five against the spread, included in that 11 consecutive victories, 10 covers, in which they outscored the opposition by 18 points per game, winning 10 of those 11 games by 12 or more points. With all the veteran experience, as you pointed out, Megan, I expected the Spurs to get that victory last night. And yet, wire to wire, they trailed to a very highly motivated New Orleans team who actually was successful against the Spurs in the course of the regular season. Tonight, however, the bell rings, and that means that the San Antonio Spurs will be in full playoff mode and very ready. A veteran playoff team led by Parker at the point, Duncan in the middle, with veteran Ginobili as sixth man, and of course Kawhi Leonard, last year's playoff MVP, ready to emerge as a superstar in his own right. Spurs playing with double revenge, although these teams split the regular season four games, each winning a pair, each winning a game on the other's home court. It was the Clippers who won the final two games, the four game set. This brings us to San Antonio Spurs as dog, off a loss, defending their championship against an LA Clipper team who, although it is an exciting 94 foot offensive team to watch, has a little bit of an end problem on the defensive end. Maybe that's why they're 9-21 against the spread recently in the NBA playoffs. I like the Spurs as double revenging dog in this one, leaning with the San Antonio Spurs plus the short number. All right, Joe, love that pick. Of course, I've got your back on that pick. I really love the Spurs in this spot. All right, guys, once again, expert handicapper Joe Gavazzi giving his free breakdown and selections for game one, round one of the Clippers Spurs matchup in the postseason tipping off this weekend. If you guys want to get more info from Joe, you've got questions for him, or you want to challenge him with some picks, 
Comment below, hit us up on Twitter at SBR Sports Picks, give us a shout out on Facebook at Sportsbook Review, and of course, for all the best NBA action for the postseason, keep it locked right here with us at SBRPicks.com.